Never bury your enemies alive. Hey, welcome back lads, so we have some more leaked information about the content in the Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer beta, as well as some of the missions from the campaign and zombies, so this is extremely juicy information, let's get right into it. Well, as you know, we get to play the game ourselves this week on Friday, when the beta kicks off first on PlayStation, so essentially what has happened is that they have begun to update the Call of Duty HQ app to prepare and add in parts of the Modern Warfare 3 beta, and now that stuff has been been found and leaked out. Nice. So first off we got this list of campaign missions, it's probably not the full complete list, and it is just code names. so the missions are Silo, Hijack, which is probably the new version of No Russian that involves us hijacking a plane and crashing it that we saw in the trailer, that's, that's cool. And then Tundra, which is like a snowy northern Russian forest, because we know that Siberia is a location in the game. We have Gunship, Surge, Millbase, VIP, and Flashback. Back. Hmm, I wonder what or where we're gonna flash back to. Now, as for the zombies missions, I guess we'll find out more tomorrow when it's fully revealed, but as far as I understand, the missions are just part of the many things you can do in zombies, you know, it's just part of the open world, and they are activated towards the end of a match, kind of to replace the main easter egg quests from normal zombies, so the missions are resort, ranch, apt, dam, port, and chemical, so the names just seem like the locations where you initiate each mission so it doesn't really tell us anything about them. Other than that, however, the main thing that we got leaked is now almost a full list of all the weapons in the game. If you remember a month or two ago, we had some massive leaks about this kind of stuff, so I made these images to show off and identify all the leaked weapons. It went kind of viral, my post on Twitter got like 200k views or something, and a lot of big YouTubers used the images as well, so that's pretty poggers. But uh, yeah, now we have uh, an updated list to all those leaked weapons, and as as I said, it's pretty much full now, this is pretty much everything in the game. So starting off with the assault rifles, this is what we had at first, and there have been a couple of changes, this is the new list, so I think the most notable thing is that the AK-556 has been replaced, seemingly replaced, by the AN-94. Pretty much because that first AK that was leaked is pretty much the same as the two AKs that exist in Modern Warfare 2, and those are going to be in the game anyway, so the AN-94 is just a bit of a different kind of Kalashnikov rifle, that we also have the ARX-160 and a new kind of family of weapons there, as well as the Tefer X-95 which is part of the weapon family us COD fans know as the TAR, like the TAR-21. So last time the sniper rifles had us kind of confused, there's a couple that we just simply couldn't identify from the leaked images or names, but now we have them. So one of them was the CDX-50 Tremor, which seems to be one of the main bolt action one shot rifles, uh, the other is the KVB-73, which I think think is the real life Kalashnikov uh, SR1, because the leaks label it as part of the same weapon family or like weapon system as the AN-94, even though in real life there isn't an AN-94 sniper variant, but they are both made by Kalashnikov, so I think that is what it is. Last time we had just two shotguns, simply called Pump and Auto, but now we have them, right, we have the Remington 870, the Origin 12, and the last one may look like an assault rifle, because it essentially is. It's a M4 turned into a shotgun. So yeah, that's cool. For SMGs, we have a few new updates as well. The PMX is new, and strangely, there was also another Uzi added. So there's like two different Uzis listed there, but I just kept it as one because it's kind of strange. I don't know if they're going to release like two of the same weapon variants at the same time. And there's also an Uzi pistol, so that makes a total of three. To complete it, we have the um, ARX family, the ARX 200, battle rifle added in, and that is that. All the other weapon categories don't have any new things, so that is that. I'll, like, leave you off of it. So, yeah, stay spicy, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.